Hello, it's Vizos of Julius here. I've made it back to Finland. It's a nice day outside and I decided to make this video. Um, so today I'm gonna teach you how you can remove heavy noise from your images. So you know when you're out shooting and it gets a bit dark outside, you have to boost that ISO up in order to get more detail in dark. But the problem when you boost that ISO is that your images tend to get a lot noisier. And today is all about how you can remove that noise afterwards. So without further ado, let's get into my office and start removing some noise and clean up our photos. So, this is my office for the people who don't know. It's super tiny. <laughs> As you can see, only a couple square meters. There's a lot of like setting up with all the lights and everything so I can film here. But without further ado, let's move into my screen and uh, get into this tutorial. Alright, so now I'm here in Photoshop, but before we actually go into the tutorial part itself, we do have to talk a bit about how we shoot our images. So as I said in the beginning of this video, when you are out shooting and it's dark, you have to boost your ISO in order to get more light into your image. Because you can't really decrease the shutter speed a lot because then your Im images are gonna be super shaky. And if your aperture is all the way down to like 2.8 or even lower, uh, then it's just impossible to get more light into your image if you don't boost your ISO. So pretty much when we are out shooting, this technique won't work if you only are gonna shoot single shots. So what you have to do is when you are taking those images and you know that your image is gonna be noisy, take at least like 15 shots to that direction. Take 10 to 15 shots so you can be sure that you can remove that noise later on. And this probably doesn't make a lot of sense for you now if you don't know what this technique is, but you need multiple shots to the same location that are pretty much perfectly aligned. It doesn't have to be 100%, but try to keep your shots as aligned as possible and then you will get the best results afterwards in Photoshop. But now that we know how to shoot, let's get into Photoshop. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open my noise reduction folder here. I have six different shots in here, or I, actually they're same shots. Uh, and I took this in Norway with my drone. So my drone was pretty stable. Uh, the Mavic 2 is really good at handling like winds and just staying stable in general. So if I click here, you can see that we have six shots and all of these do shift a bit. So the drone can not be 100% still. And when you are taking your shot, handheld with your camera it's impossible for them to be 100% aligned but try to keep them as aligned as possible as I said already if I zoom in here you can see that their shots are pretty noisy um, so I'm just gonna show you in Photoshop now how to remove that noise so the first thing to do is just to move one shot here basically into Photoshop first and it's gonna open these in camera raw because they are raw shots and if you don't know what camera raw is don't really think about it right now this tutorial is not about it it's basically a built in Lightroom in Photoshop, but I'm just gonna open these images normally here in Photoshop. And I'm just gonna bring all of these rest shots here and hit okay, enter, hit okay, enter. All right, so now that we have opened all of our shots, you can see that these are turned into smart objects. And we are not gonna go too in depth with smart objects in this tutorial, but basically smart objects are layers that contain more information. They have way more capabilities in Photoshop, but pretty much what we have to do do first is to auto align these layers. So we have to align all these layers because if I click on and off, you can see that there is a slight change in every single shot. Uh, so in order for this technique to work, all these images need to be aligned. But we can't align them if our images are a smart object. So what we have to do is hold shift on our keyboard and just select all these layers. And then I'm gonna click with my right mouse button and hit rasterize layers. And what this does, it just gets rid of the smart object. And now what we can do, we can come up here to edit it and here from the edit we are gonna hit auto align layers and remember if you have smart objects in your shots you can't auto align them you have to rasterize them first so now when I hit auto align layers what we can do we can just select the auto here Photoshop is pretty good at detecting and automizing things so I'm just gonna hit auto and hit ok so now what this does it just detects the edges in our shot and just aligns them and as you can see now that it aligned it you can see that there is a slight wide outline here because it moves 
all of the shots a bit to align them. Um, so now if I hit this on and off, you can see that our shots are nicely aligned. So if I just clip this on and off, the only thing shifting in these shots is the noise level. So one thing, every single time you take a photo, the noise level is gonna be different. So if I click this on and off, you can see that it's the same photo, but the noise is in different places. So now what we need to do in Photoshop is to combine all these layers in a way that Photoshop will detect the different noise places where there is noise and where there isn't. And then it's gonna create a median or like a average image from that. So it's gonna just detect the places where there is no noise and then with that remove it. It might sound a bit complicated, but that's basically what it does. But now at this point, what we have to do is turn all of these images into a smart object actually into one smart object. And if I click here and hit convert to smart object, what it does, it just combined all these layers and made it into a smart object. But this smart object still contains those layers. So if I double click here, it's gonna open a new document and you can see that, okay, our images are still here inside the smart object. But don't really pay too much attention to that right now because we are only going to remove the noise so you don't really have to know a lot about the technical things in photoshop so now in order to create the median out of this we just come here to layer and here we come to smart objects and then we are gonna find stack mode and then hit median. So now we are selecting the smart object and we are stacking all of these images into a median, which means that it finds the similar places from the photos and just creates like a medium image from those. So if I hit median, you can immediately see how much the noise level shifts. Boom, now we got rid of our noise. And that is a pretty heavy change. If I now hit this again here, so if I hit this to open, and then I hit this back to the after, you can see that we got rid of a lot of noise. And remember that we haven't done any changes now in Lightroom or Camera Raw yet. So after you've done that, what you can do, you can come to filter and hit Camera Raw filter. And you can even take this noise even further off. So I'm gonna hit the detail panel here and then I'm gonna bring my luminance up to 30. And now we got rid of like even more noise. So this would now be like a single shot that you've taken a bit earlier. It's the equivalent of that because we have like just removed a lot of noise from it. And then I'm gonna add a bit of sharpening from here and hit okay. And now you can see that we have a nice image that doesn't have a lot of noise. And this is a technique that you can use in a lot of your photos, but you just have to remember to take a lot of photos to the same direction and try to keep the shots as aligned as possible. So you don't have to do a lot of aligning manually afterwards in Photoshop. But basically that's it. There's not much to it. There's only two different things you have to do or three, shoot the images, come to Photoshop, auto align them, and then just turn it into smart object and hit the median stack uh, from the smart object panel. And that's how we can get rid of noise. Pretty easy, maybe a bit complicated in the beginning, but when you do this multiple and multiple times over and over again, it will come super automated to you and you don't have to struggle with noise anymore in your life. And this is something that a lot of photographers do not know about. But yeah, that's everything for this tutorial. I really hope you liked and learned something new from this. Comment down below what kind of tutorials do you want to see from me next. As most of you know, I do digital art as my main thing. So I can do tutorials about a lot of different things. I know photo I know editing so whatever comes to your mind just comment down below and maybe I will do a tutorial about that in future now I'm done for today and I'm gonna see you in the next video so goodbye